Hi guys, very good morning all of you. So how are you? Yesterday we have completed process costing uh, joint products and byproducts. In the joint products and byproducts, last I have given problem number four in the practical questions at the end of ICA material as homework. One two students asked that there are certain uh, doubts in this because there is a difference between units produced and units sold, but opening stock, closing stock is not discussed in the problem. So one two students got confused. So we'll solve problem number four first, and then we'll go to next topic today. Okay? Probably we'll start either marginal costing or budgetary control today. But let us see problem number four first. I see a study material problem. Note it as important problem. Star mark. Put a star mark. It is an important model because it has both joint products and one by product also. And there are one two twists also in the question. So we'll solve this completely. So look at the question. N N manufacturing company uses joint production process. that produces three products at the split of point joint production cost during september were 840000 product information for september was as follows particulars product a product b and product c units produced 1500 3000 4500 units sold 2000 6000 7500 after units sold put a star mark in your notes in your textbook after unit sold put a star mark this line is not relevant this line is not relevant the whole process costing or you call this joint products by products our focus is on current period what is happening so they have given units sold now student thinks pavan sir 1500 units produced 2000 units sold how it is possible that means there is some opening stock also which they sold during the period but since the opening stock they did not mention the closing stock we do not know because you know you cannot calculate closing stock using this two information no how can i calculate closing stock so will not consider opening stock will not consider closing stock current period whatever the units produced that is the basis for solving this problem many students struggle pavan sir what is opening stock what is closing stock that is not relevant at all all the calculations are based on production clear now so this is the line we are going to use then sale price at the split off 100 rupees per product a for product b and c there is no sale price at split off that means mandatorily they are to be further processed so after further processing product a is 150 rupees product b is 175 product c is 50 Cost to process after split of point one lakh fifty thousand, one lakh fifty thousand, one lakh fifty thousand. Now, take your calculator. How many number of units of product A are produced during the period? One thousand five hundred. Correct. So, what is sale price after further processing? One fifty. Sale price at split of point hundred. What is value addition? Fifty rupees. So, take fifteen hundred into fifty rupees. Seventy five thousand. And what is further processing cost? One lakh fifty thousand. So you will ask them, "Oh, hello, excuse me, hold my calculator. What this is? Seventy five thousand is the value addition, and you want me to spend one lakh fifty thousand for it? So I will make a decision of not processing product A further. Simple. Why? Because it is not economic. It is not economic. Okay, right now. Right now. working note 1 further processing of product a okay production quantity 1500 selling price after split of point after further processing 150 selling price at split of point 100 value addition in selling price or you can write increase in selling price also 50 so total incremental sales due to further processing can i say is 1500 into 50 75000 further processing cost is 150000 net benefit of further processing is minus 75000 decision it is not economic to or it is not advised to process product a further so sell it at split of point this is our working not one 
so i don't want to process it further why it is a last proposition for me am i mad to do that i am a businessman why will i do this kind of business so this is my step 1 guys you understand working not one is working not one clear okay now then what they are giving the other data 8 lakh 40000 is the cost okay assume that the product c is treated as a by product oh my god that means a and b are joint products c is a by product okay so do you remember by product accounting what will we do the net realizable value of the by product what is that the net realizable value of the by product is to be credited to process account that means should be deducted from the processing cost and the balance net processing cost after deducting net realizable value of by products must be apportioned between main products so here working not to treatment of by product that is product c okay so the net realizable value of the by product is to be credited to process account in other words the process cost should be subtracted by the net realizable value of the by product the balance net processing cost the balance net joint processing cost net joint processing cost should be apportioned between the main products that is a and b so till this you understand now net realizable value of product c is equal to so how many number of units produced during the period 4500 into into so what is the uh, selling price 50 4500 into 50 minus there is some uh, after split of point cost also 150000 so calculate it take 4500 into 50 rupees 225000 minus 150000 so can i say net realizable value of product c is equal to 75000 selling price minus further processing cost selling price that means selling price into quantity sales revenue minus further processing cost so that is net realizable value now this is working not to note 3 joint cost total joint cost given 8 lakh 40000 less net realizable value of by product 75000 so net joint cost to be apportioned between a and b 765000 this you understand this is note 3 next note 4 apportionment of joint cost to product a and b okay particulars a b okay particulars a b quantity produced so what is quantity produced of a 1500 for b 3000 1500 decision not to further process mandatory further process there is no other option for b so what is the selling price for product a i'll take 100 rupees selling price for product a i take 100 rupees because i am taking selling price at split of point for product b after further processing 175 so can i say sales revenue is this into this 1 50000 525000 correct then further processing cost less further processing cost here zero not applicable why i am not doing further processing here 150000 so net realizable value at split of point is 150000 and here it is 525000 minus 150000 375000 therefore ratio to apportion joint cost between a and b is equal to 
वन लैक्स फिफ्टी थाउजेंड इस तू थ्री लैक्स सेवेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड वन लैक्स फिफ्टी थाउजेंड इस तू थ्री लैक्स सेवेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड ओके सो थ्री लैक्स सेवेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड डिवाइडेड बाय वन लैक्स फिफ्टी थाउजेंड सो इट विल बी वन इस तू टू Okay, so what is total joint cost? We have calculated seven lakh sixty five thousand. So share of product A is equal to seven lakh sixty five thousand into one divided by three point five. That is equal to take your calculator seven lakh sixty five thousand into one divided by three point five. That comes to two lakh eighteen thousand five seventy one. Two lakh eighteen thousand. 571 करेक्ट देन शेयर ऑफ प्रोडक्ट बी इज इक्वल टू सेवन लैक्स सिक्सटी फाइव थाउजेंड इंटू टू पॉइंट फाइव डिवाइडेड बाई थ्री पॉइंट फाइव करेक्ट सेवन लैक्स सिक्सटी फाइव थाउजेंड इंटू टू पॉइंट फाइव डिवाइडेड बाई थ्री पॉइंट फाइव दट कम्स टू फाइव लैक्स फोर्टी सिक्स फोर ट्वेंटी नाइन फाइव लैक्स फोर्टी सिक्स फोर ट्वेंटी नाइन This is the answer. The answer is over. But do you remember I told you always after calculation add both just to confirm whether your arithmetic are proper or not. Plus two one eight five seven one. Yay! I got seven seven lakh sixty five thousand. Correct. That's all. This is the problem. Okay. Again, I am telling you simple problem. But the opening stock, closing stock will hit the student one. And the second thing is the solution. If you look at I C I study material solution, the way how they have given. they have given it like ramayana mahabharata so there is no table there is no calculations calculations are there but descriptively they have given para 1 para 2 para 3 student will get mental pawns are what is this so instead of this if the answer is presented this way it would be more meaningful and it would be more understandable you understand so this problem comprises one by product and two main products what we have done first we calculated net realizable value of the by product that we have subtracted uh, from uh, the joint process cost and then we calculated net joint process cost that is to be apportioned between main products one main product we have decided not to further process because it is not economical for me it's not beneficial second product mandatorily i have to further process because in the question they have not given sale revenue sale price at split of mind so if i am not processing product a further and if i am processing b further i have calculated net realizable value then it is 150000 is to 375000 that is the ratio in which the joint cost of that 765000 is apportioned and this is the final answer that's all so is it clear do you have any doubts if you have doubts ask me otherwise this chapter is over we'll go to next next chapter